Real estate market update for June 2022. Hi everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and I'm gonna report what your current state of the marketplace is and contrast it with where it's gonna go with the increase in interest rates. We were reporting that the average sales price is $563,000 in North Central Washington. In Leavenworth, you're probably approaching eight, 850 in Chelan, 850, $900,000. And so that's really good news because if you have owned your home, it in 2020, 2021, or even owned it for longer than that, you've realized so much appreciation. You have so much equity in your home that the rise in interest rates really aren't going to affect your home's value because you've made so much money in equity that the chances of it even depreciating or seeing a loss that significantly impacts you in your life is very, very small. It is really, really small. In fact, people that are thinking about selling in the next six months, they're gonna do quite well, actually. They're probably gonna put their home on the market, their home's gonna sell, they're gonna realize a massive amount of equity and be able to use that on the next purchase of their home. Even though there's higher interest rates, they're gonna have a huge down payment and have more options to go search. So the average sales price is an interesting thing because I looked at February of 2020, the average sales price was 400,000, 417. So really the average sales price has gone up over $200,000. That's a huge margin of safety for people housing in the marketplace. I got into real estate in uh, 2008 when the market crashed, and the market crashed because people were losing their homes because they didn't have any equity. Well, it's quite different now. We have so much equity that we're gonna, we're gonna make it through higher interest rates and make it through inflation, and we're gonna be really, really solid massively solid in the marketplace. Sales increased 19% last month. So we have a lot of homes closing right now. And with those homes closing, those homeowners are going back into the marketplace, purchasing another home. So that's really a good sign too. Inventory though is on the rise. I mean, inventory is really on the rise. I mean, it went from, it went from 30 homes on the market to 104 homes on the market. With interest rates going from four to five to now 6%, you know, anticipate the inventory going from 100 to 200 to even 300 active homes on the marketplace. I was showing statistics from 2014. There were a thousand homes on the marketplace in 2014. That wasn't that long ago. So buyers out there or even homeowners, the selection of homes is gonna massively increase. That's gonna be wildly interesting to a lot of people to see the variety of homes. Because the number one complaint we got the last two years is I have to settle for homes. I had to, I had to settle. I didn't, I waived my home inspection. I was frantic. I had to overpay. Well, going to the next marketplace, you're going to be able to choose your home that meets your needs. And that's more important than the price is finding the right location and finding the right fit for you. So inventory is on the rise. That's a good thing. If you're a homeowner, it's more competition. More competition just means you need better preparation. You need to prepare. You need to do a pre-home inspection. You need to stage your home. You need expert advice and great marketing to outcompete the competition. It's no longer about just hiring anybody who can do it for the least amount of money. It's like, who can prepare my home and get it sold for the most amount of money? So that's really important. So with all that being said, interest rates are on the rise. When interest rates jump up to six, six and a half percent, even approach 7% for some people, your credit matters a lot. In fact, I was looking at rates today if you have average credit, you're looking at six and a quarter. If you have excellent credit, you can get in the five still. I mean, this is massive amounts of interest that you're saving by improving your credit. So maybe check your credit score. You can go online and get a free credit score. You can talk to a mortgage broker, get a credit score report, and you can improve that, right? So there's ways to combat interest rates that are gonna benefit you greatly. I can tell you, I'm talking to investors out there, real estate people that do this for a living, for sales and for as an entrepreneur in a business outside of real estate sales, they're looking for deals right now. So they see this as an opportunity. I see more opportunity for people in the real estate industry. So check in back with us next month because thing, numbers are gonna be a lot different once we get more information on the price reductions, how much are people doing price reductions, how, much, how many homes are going in the marketplace. If you wanna know what your home's worth in today's market, Factoring in today's interest rates, go to our website, nickmcclainrealestate.com. If you're on our website, go to the home value link and put in your address and it's gonna tell you what your home's worth. If you wanna know how to prepare your home for the market and, and sell it before the prices go down or if they go down, give us a call at 509-255-8070. That's 255-8070.